Marianne Libart here, together with Niels. Uh, we're into round seven of our Belgic Magic Nationals, uh, last round before the top eight. Uh, we have a lot of players drawing into the top eight, but we do have one match which will actually end up mattering. It's, g it's again going to be Guy de Park playing against this time Vincent Vranken. Uh, two people who seem to be quite familiar with the uh, Pioneer format, maybe even more familiar than I am. Uh, Guy de Park has actually won a Modo PTQ with the deck he's playing, Blue White Control. Uh, kind of unfortunate that he was not able to draw at in sixth place. But uh, that's how the pairings went. So uh, he's playing against Vincent Franken. Uh, junt food. Uh, I guess a lot of the standard cards with the oven, the cat. Uh, but maybe uh, some like Assassin's Trophy or something or, or, or Junt Planeswalkers added. We will take a look at their decklist once we get them. But let's see how this match goes. The winner will go into the top eight. There we have, we have the two decklists in front of me. Oh, I have the two decklists in front of me. Uh, Vincent Franken playing, as I said, Junt Food. Uh, Cauldron Familiar, Gilded Goose, Mayhem Devil, all standard all-stars. Murderous Rider as well, Wicked Wolf. Then Corvold, so this is actually quite a lot of standard cards. Uh, also Witches Oven and Trail of Clumps. But then added some older cards in the form of Vraska, Golgari Queen. Uh, Fatal Push, of course, Abrupt Decay, and Liliana Lost Hope. Uh, and then, of course, some lands. Uh, Cyber does bring him four Tautis. A little bit surprised that this uh, card is not in the main deck. But maybe that's how Pioneer works. Actually, I haven't, I haven't played all that much uh, Pioneer. Uh, Hidu Park, he's certainly very familiar with the format. He's played it a lot. He's also qualified for Brussels, so he'll be having his eye on Pioneer. Uh, with a pretty stock, what I suppose, uh, blue-white control. Uh, Teferi, little one and big one. Uh, Supreme Verdict, four off uh, removals in the form of Azorius Charm, Blessed Alliance. Dictra Time, counters Absorb, Opt. Four times some uh, removal, more uh, Detention Sphere. And then a couple of one-offs, one Sensor, uh, one Sphinx Revelation, one Search for Ascanta. And uh, a lot of lands. Oh, uh, actually more one-offs, as I see. Uh, cast out Dov Dovin's Veto, Seal Away, Elspeth Champion. So I don't see any creatures in the main deck, maybe in the cyber. So yeah, some Ly Lyra Downbringer. I might be interested to bring that one in. Monastery Mentor might actually be good as well in this matchup. Uh, once uh, his opponent, Vincent Franken, cyborgs out the Fatal Push. Uh, I'm not really sure who's ahead in this matchup. The blue white control does seem to have like detention spheres, seem to be very good. But uh, I think the, the junk food is actually quite grindy and might be able to, to grind out the blue-white control. So here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, Vincent starts off with a, with a dr uh, mulligan. He, does have two, he doesn't have a loss yet, Vincent. He started it with four wins and two draws. Uh, not really sure where he picked up the draws. Uh, maybe, maybe in uh, Pioneer, because his deck doesn't seem to be very fast, uh, very grindy. Guy de Park was able to keep, of course we're on the, well for me it's a kind of new mulligan rule because I, I haven't played all that much but I guess <laughs> for most of you guys it's it's all very familiar already. Uh, that's a Mayhem Devil, Stomping Ground, a Witch's Oven, another Mayhem Devil, a Fatal Push, uh, that's actually quite a good end but only one, does he have two lands? I think it's only one land and already on a mulligan but he, if he draws one black source yeah it's too too big of a risk of course the new mulligan does reward uh, aggressive mulliganing uh, so Vincent not taking his chances with just one land uh, let's see if he can find uh, a sweet new seven of which he will only be able to keep five cards which is oven a uh, new addition from the latest set uh, one mana artifact so a very cheap one oh there we have a little flipped card, uh, which is able to sacrifice a creature and you g g gain a food. If you sacrifice a creature with toughness 4 or great, of which there are pretty much none. Maybe Corvold, uh, the k free cursed king, has 4 toughness, but all the other cards have only 3 or less. Uh, you get 2 f food tokens. Of course, the food tokens are used to bring back Cauldron Familiar, the little cat. Uh, let's see... This hand has four, five land, no, four lands, Wicked Wolf, Liliana Lost Hope. Liliana Lost Hope is one of the better cards in this matchup against Blue-White Control, although he does have uh, Detention Sphere. So there we have a go, Hallowed Fountain, Blood Crypt. 
uh, planes for he he does have the the single sensor always nice to let's see if he's gonna use it on the the cat but probably not very useful countering a cat which you know which uh, will be coming back there we have little cat when it comes into play each opponent loses one you gain one life and if you sacrifice a food uh, which you can make uh, with the oven you can bring it back of course a very nice combo the the cat with the oven uh, but he the park is not gonna waste any time he's gonna teferi the little one and bounce the cold and familiar uh, let's see what the answer from vincent will be teferi a card that has been yeah running rampant in pretty much every format since it was printed uh he's gonna get answered by another three mana planeswalker this time liliana uh liliana also one of the better planeswalkers uh still remember the time where good planeswalker costed four mana instead of three but we're far past that one there we have the beautiful art as well uh, of course the the better ability on this one is gonna be the minus seven it, once you get to seven loyalty that should actually spell game for uh, vincent frank and i think it's gonna be very hard for he uh, to come back from a ultimate liliana the minus two not that bad either but not if you don't have creatures in the graveyard yet because if you don't flip a creature you do not get gain any advantage from it so let's see opt for he he pluses his Teferi, so everything will be on sorcery speed for Vincent Frank and instant speed for uh, he, which means he can actually Supreme Verdict should he choose to, but not really useful just yet. Another land for Vincent Frank uh, And there he has the answer for Liliana. That's actually crucial. Liliana was at six loyalty, but now with cast out, I think uh, that's what he wanted. Uh, I think he's very happy he to be playing this kind of game just up upping his little teferi nothing really dangerous from Vincent Frank and there we have a Grim Haruspex or however you name the card uh, actually one of the better cards in this matchup uh, whenever a non another non-token creature you control dies draw a card of course that that card together with the oven is a very nice uh, uh, combo but here we're gonna see supreme verdict at instant speed uh, this means that Vincent is going to draw one card from the cat. The Grim Harrispec does not trigger himself, as it says, another creature. But still going to draw one card and nothing for Vincent. Uh, he the Park, pretty happy the way this, is this uh, game is going. Just drawing some cards. And now adding another Planeswalker to the battlefield. Narset, starting at 5 loyalty. The passive not very useful in this in this particular matchup although it does work against the grim harris packs but of course the minus two did he just miss uh i wasn't actually looking because i was looking at the deck list he does have seven cards so he might have actually uh, got something oh and now we're actually gonna see the combo in action uh is vincent also gonna fire off or he d does he have the double green to play the wicked wolf i would be surprised if he doesn't go for yeah he does have the double green so i would i would be playing the wicked wolf take a look for five mana or am i missing something uh wicked wolf uh it's not gonna fight and it's actually not very good right now because there is no uh there is no food tokens uh he the park is gonna bounce the wicked wolf uh in response vincent is gonna sacrifice it to create a food token he is still gonna draw land he's still stuck on four lands so uh, a little bit unfortunate there but that does mean that that does mean that he has a lot of uh gas in his hand eight or nine cards he is gonna have to discard uh does have tr double absorb sensor two blessed alliance he's not even gonna bother using his narset because he knows he's already got too many cards in his hand and in the meantime vincent is gonna bring back the cauldron familiar he do park still at a very healthy uh we don't really know the life total but uh i'd imagine it's still quite high the fairy is gonna die we did see a, a backup copy from Guy de Park. So for the life totals, the players requested not to have to update every little life adjustment. Uh, so as soon as it looks like it's coming into relevant range, they are starting to update it or 
in between, uh, but they won't be doing a very vigilant because otherwise they'll be doing more uh, life total adjustment than actual playing in this match. Yeah, and there we have some life total adjustment. 23 to Vincent, of course, gaining some life with the little cat and 17 for Guy. Uh, he did fire off that, uh, that Dictor time and I think he's pulling ahead right now. Uh, Big Teferi is going to draw a card on a gonna untap. He, it does mean that he he only has two mana left in the next turn so no absorb mana open let's see if vincent can actually make something of that uh not sure corvold fakers king does it have haste maybe we can bring it up on the screen uh corvold one of the better cards corvold with uh one of the better cards in the deck uh let's take a look at it there we have it it's flying no it doesn't have haste but it is pretty pretty powerful Oh, Trail of Crumbs. That's actually quite dangerous. Uh, together with the oven and the cat, that's a lot of card adventures. So there we have it. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you, you create a food token. And whenever you sacrifice a food, you may pay one. And you look at the top two cards and reveal a permanent card from among them. Uh, and the way Vincent built his deck, he does have a lot of uh, permanent cards, even in the form of Planeswalkers. Fresca Golgari Queen now. Uh, he's oh, that's actually a very nice combo uh, with all the food token with the trail of crumbs. So uh, he the park tapped out in one turn. He thought he was safe, but uh, now he's facing uh, a lot of very annoying uh, permanents: planeswalker, an artifact, an enchantment, and a, and a creature. Uh, and I don't think he has any. Uh, I, I know some people run the destroy all non-land permanents in the blue-white control, but I don't see any in Guy the Park's version. So he will have to do a lot of work getting rid of all these permanents. There's been uh, a judge call because uh, I think there was an attempted extra draw while there was a Narset in play. Yeah, yeah these uh, abilities like Narset and Teferi have been pretty annoying uh, these last couple years. Uh, maybe two years since it was printed. Uh, something people are still not used to. Uh, the passive abilities from the planeswalkers. But that's how it goes. You gotta adjust to new cards the way they are worded. And let's see how the judge handles this situation. There we have our head judge, uh, very famous in Europe, Jona Bemint, one of the better judges. In, in well certainly in Belgium but also in Europe uh, is certainly gonna come up with the right answer to this situation so a little bit of extra information uh, there has been a bit of a rules change uh, surrounding the abilities like uh, Narset that where it used to be a very beneficial uh, penalty for you to get from your opponent you're now actively responsible for reminding your opponent not to draw the extra card uh, or get a warning as well and you won't do the Thoughtseize fix anymore for these effects uh, which was half the reason that people started playing Narset. Yeah, which I think is a good thing because once you're playing cards like Narset you, you, you already have quite <laughs> an advantage and if you use it the wrong way it's just super annoying and you, you are used to playing your own cards whereas your opponent has probably not played oh, a little noise in my <laughs> I don't know what just happened <laughs> did we have a follower yeah thanks for following guys uh, <laughs> let's see the big teferi joined by little teferi uh, teferi time traveler there we have it uh, another one of these passive abilities each opponent can cast spells only any time they could uh, cast a sorcery <laughs> Cauldron of is gonna get sacrificed, Trail of Crumbs uh, is gonna sacrifice the food to bring back the cat and now Trail of Crumbs is gonna get another Fable Passage. Uh, so he the Park was able to resolve another... Ah, uh, actually he did bounce the, the Trail of Crumbs with the Teferi and now he does have 3 mana open to absorb the Trail of Crumbs. Uh, a nice way of handling that uh, problematic enchantment. Uh, and in the meantime also drawing a card from the Teferi. Trail of Crumbs, I would imagine seeing a Absorb right there. There we have it. So one permanent handled. There is still the Vraska, which is quite good. Uh, so let's see if he can find another uh, answer. Oh, Blessed Alliance. Uh, not 
all that good but it does mean he gets to keep his Teferi around uh, which is quite annoying for Vincent Franken uh, as it means he the park is able to play cards like Supreme Verdict at instant speed he draws another card he ups his little Teferi let's see if he also is gonna use the minus three to get rid of yet again yep yeah, he's gonna get rid of Raska now that it is at seven loyalty gonna be put two from the bottom uh, and he, of course he will be ready with an absorb should it come back uh, Narset still in play he is not gonna use it still happy to keep that one on the battlefield of course if he would have used it it would have gone away and the passive ability would have uh, disappeared now uh, some more cat action meow meow I imagine how it goes when you put the cat in the oven and you go meow and then he comes back meow I'm back meow or something like that okay uh, very graphic yeah <laughs> I think we need a disclaimer now <laughs> ooh second oven which is nice but it does mean uh, should he find a detention sphere he will be able to get rid of both the witch's oven uh, certainly what he's gonna be looking for now with the Sphinx's Revelation 1, 2, 3, 4 I did see uh, a nice land in there as well but yeah, Sphinx's Revelation, the favorite card of Riley Knight uh, draws a lot of cards he, uh, he is at like 10 cards, he was down to 4 last turn but now he's found a bunch of cards, search for a Scanta and I think slowly but surely Hida Park is once again pulling ahead. Also has the the, Els the Elspeth Suns champion, but I don't think he's gonna tap out this turn because uh, it would mean he would he wouldn't have backup uh, absorb, and I'm sure he wants that. He just wants to play Elspeth and also have backup absorb, and that's gonna happen next turn. At which point it will be very uh, hard for Vincent to come back. Vincent didn't draw all that many dead cards, but he still was not able to battle through all the card advantage, all the problematic planeswalkers uh, he depart. Problem with Vincent's deck kind of is that he's very bad at pressuring planeswalkers. He does have the four mayhem devils, but apart from those, he doesn't have all that many answers. After Cyber, it is going to be a little bit better with four Totsies. Uh, mostly these. Cinder is not going to be good. Yeah, actually, his Cyber isn't all that well positioned against the blue-white control he does have four Totsies which are gonna be pretty good now search for Escanta is gonna flip uh, another way of gaining uh, card advantage for the blue-white deck and the fairy hero of Dominaria is gonna up Dovin's Vita this is yeah I think it's it's pretty much game over from here uh, just a matter of time before uh, Hidu Park has double backup. He knows he doesn't even have to do anything. Uh, he, d he is kind of getting. L m is he at 16 life, 14 life? He's even gonna discard uh, Dovin's video, but it's just about dr uh, finding one of his two copies of Detention Sphere at this point, at which point <laughs> the ovens will be gone forever. Search for Escanta is gonna draw a card. Uh, no, he's actually gonna each player draw a card. I believe with the uh, I don't exactly know the name of the card the Reach Sanitarium Geyer Reach Sanitarium there we have it uh, each player draws a card then discards a card and he's also going to use the search for Escanta to get another Narset which means he will be able to use the, the first Narset not even going to fire off the the opt which he had because he only had 3 mana left doesn't want to give his opponent the ability to use for example uh, an instant fatal trophy another land from uh, he uh, castle Ardenvale uh, another way of slowly gaining advantage uh, without uh, putting too much effort in it and too much resources but uh, now he has the big star uh, Elspeth Sun's champion the main way of killing his opponent uh, Elspeth Sun's champion is gonna gain get three tokens uh, at five loyalty right now and look at all these planeswalkers I don't think there's coming back for Vincent Vranken 
we've seen other opponents play uh, dread boars and uh, stuff like this because it's so hard for these uh, black red decks to deal with planeswalkers. Uh, but I don't think he has them in his uh, list. Either. No, I, I haven't seen. Abrupt Decay is pretty much the only way, but uh, that's not a really enough. Doesn't even handle the most problematic ones in Teferi and Elspeth. So, uh, just a reminder after this round, we will be going to the top eight. Uh, actually, quite some good players in the top eight. There's Thomas van der Paalt, Jerome Bastogne, Bastogne Alexander Dara, and Branko Neric. So, we have actually quite a sweet top eight. Also, uh, Jelle Gijsseling, uh, local player. Uh, which was maybe on camera yesterday. I, I wasn't sure if he was here yesterday. Uh, well, now he does have finally some pressure, but not that bad with uh, with the double oven. He he might be able to get rid of some planeswalkers uh, now. But is it gonna get enough? Uh, it does deal one damage to any target, so he can kill. He can start pinging these planeswalkers. Uh, he's gonna uh, actually use. Fable Passage, uh, yeah, Sacrifice also triggers the Devil. I think he killed the little Teferi with that. But he does not have a foot uh, to get the train rolling uh, this turn. Opt, put the card on the bottom. I kind of like how Pioneer is shaping up. There doesn't seem to be a deck that is too powerful at this moment. Uh, there's quite a lot of variety, there's mid-range, there is control, there's combo, there's uh, aggro. Uh, and yeah, a lot of decks that can actually perform pretty well, uh, which I'm kind of liking. Uh, this blue-white control deck does seem to be one of the better decks, but uh, I'm sure people will figure out how to beat a deck with so many slow cards. Uh, for example, Mono Red. Uh, now, Big Teferi is gonna minus three on the devil. I'm gonna sacrifice. He sacrifice. Does it trigger if it sacrifices itself? Yeah, it does trigger. Uh, and he's gonna put the Narset at one with that. It does mean he loses one of his best cards. Uh, I think actually this is pr a pretty bad matchup for uh, Vincent Franken. Uh, and now it's just, yeah, pretty much game over. It's been game over since six turns ago or even more. Maybe we can enjoy a little snack on Sunday afternoon while we watch this nice match. Let's put it in the oven, the snack. Yeah. Meow. No, that's the coming back part. Yes. Meow. Meow. Pretty sure it does meow when you put it in the oven. Yeah? yeah. But that's not the happy meow. Talking about ovens, my oven broke yesterday. Any anyone who can fix it? No, ich bin Karl, ich bin expert. I come to fix the oven. No one, no. Okay. So, but you mentioned that you uh, like Pioneer right now. We're still in the stages that every Monday can be a ban. Uh, there's yep. a lot of people that are expecting Dig Through Time or Treasure Cruise maybe to get a hit because right now the blue-white decks seem to have a bit of a, yep. a higher win rate. Uh, I think I remember Toby Henke having an analysis showing 72% of win rate yeah. in a few uh, turns. Holy moly. Which isn't uh, very healthy sounding. Yeah. The problem is, is yeah, Dictor Time is is very good because it's at sorcery speed, but if you ban only Dictor Time, it's not going to be enough. Then there's going to be Treasure Cruise, so I guess you do have to ban both. At which point you're pretty much at the point where you banned every card that has ever been banned in standard, I guess. Uh, who would have thought if you put three or four standard formats together, you have to bin ban all the cards. Works Marvel's also banned? Oh no, no not, yet. not yet. So that's the next one. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's how it works. Rogue, Rogue was oh, or Attune with Eater, wasn't that card banned? Yeah, Attune with Eater yeah. and Rogue Refiner yeah. uh, as part of the package. And uh, last but not least, uh, the 3 3 red one. Uh, the ferocious, ferocious. Yeah, that, 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 that one was very ferocious. It's not even been, been played main deck in uh, all the mono red decks. So it's soldiers against cats. Soldiers usually have a gun. Uh, 
but the cat is pretty good at jumping, so yeah. I think it might be hard to shoot a cat with a gun. Meow. I can go hide in the oven. <laughs> then you just shoot the oven. <laughs> I like his uh, soldier tokens though. Yep, they're pretty nice. There is one, two, three. At, at this point, is, it's yeah. pretty academic. We Everybody knows how this yeah, yeah, is yeah. going to end. I, I've, we've talked about this briefly. Ooh, on emblem time. time. We've got three, three soldiers. They, they pick up the bazooka right now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, actually, detention sphere. Yeah, good point by chat. Uh, boat oven should be gone uh, with detention sphere. We were too busy talking about cats and bazookas that we didn't even notice that. Let's see if we can stop them and fix that uh, in a minute. But uh, it's pretty. M it shouldn't end up mattering. There's even the castle, which is making tree trees right now. Yeah, and we see a scoop from Vincent Vrak, and the judge is gonna be too slow. Uh, we're gonna go to game number two. Uh, Hidu Park up a game. Uh, if Hidu Park wins, he will be, he might actually be in first seat for the top eight, which he's certainly gonna enjoy. Uh, and that means that we do have another match going, Florimont Husio, who might actually make up, make it into the top eight. Uh, so yeah. We're bringing you Belgic, it's actually Belgic Magic Nationals, not Belgian National Championships. But uh, I'll forgive our organizer uh, of the stream. Because uh, everyone likes Nationals, especially in these small countries like Belgium, the Netherlands. It was also, it was always one of these tournaments which everyone was kind of practicing for. These days you don't have that many paper tournaments which people actually practice for. Uh, so we wanted to bring it back and thought it would be a, a great idea to make it Pioneer because there's also GP Brussels coming up and uh, Mythic Fest, uh, Mythic Fest uh, Br Brussels and uh, that's going to be Pioneer so it would give our uh, Belgian players an, a nice opportunity to test out their decks uh, and also we added a, a little nice Modern Horizons draft uh, which has been gone to, uh, let's see what our, pap what our two players are going to cyber uh, yeah, another follower. Thank you, Root F eighty ninety eight, for following us. Uh, let's see what Hidu Park is gonna bring. I like Monastery Mentor. I don't know why, but uh, settle the wreckage. Not very good. Maybe biting pitting needle, biting needle, uh, as a way to answer uh, the oven. That seems pretty good. I don't think Dovin's video is good enough. Dispel is not very good. And maybe the extra Narset, and I don't think he's gonna bring in the copy Sphinx of the final word. Uh, there we have, uh, didn't even know that art, which looks pretty nice. The needle uh, as a fine answer to the witch's oven. Is it witch's? Witch's. Witch's. It's uh, pretty n weird. It's not multiple witches? No, no. It's Otherwise, it would be witches ovens. <laughs> witches is ovens. Is <laughs> <laughs> so it's just one witches oven, yes. not multiple witches is ovens. Is is. Yes. Yeah. Like in the fairy tale. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> do they also put cats in the oven in the fairy no. tale? No. What do but they it's put? It's a cauldron familiar. It's, it's supposed to go into the pot. Oh yeah. So, so it should have been the cauldron's oven. No? A, a cauldron is a pot. Okay. That's it's hard to be an oven and a cauldron at the same time. <laughs> really cool uh, which, is, which is cauldron? Which is cauldron? Th that would, would be pretty. Would have been, yeah, uh, would have been more fitting. And what about the trail of crumbs? How does that fit into the the whole. It's I don't Hansel know. and Gretel, the trail of crumbs. Oh, yeah. With the lost pair yeah. that <laughs> arrives and finds the witch's oven. Mm. That's the whole Eldraine story. Yeah, I'm not very good with these, although I do read them to my children, but usually I'm just reading and not really understanding what I'm reading. <laughs> like Turn off brain. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you go to bed yet? Nope. You have to read the whole book. Ah. So yeah, players are shuffling up for game number two. 
here in round number seven of Belgian national championships. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, and in uh, like 30 minutes the top eight should be starting. Uh, bring your friends. Bring all your friends, spread the word. Let's make this the biggest stream. That's a bit of a problem. Tess is streaming with 2,000 viewers. Ah, but does Tess has uh, four prototypes? I don't think so. Noxious Grasp. Does Noxious Grasp actually handle Planeswalkers? Yes. I, I have, yeah, so that's actually quite a good cyber card against all the... It's only working against the white Planeswalkers, if, I, if I'm correct. Uh, which is often without a cat this time around. Uh, opt from Guido Park. He does again find a singleton sensor. He does like his singleton right there. Uh, of course a card that is a lot better in the early game than in the late game. He's gonna toss his Vincent, so now we're gonna have a quick look at Guido Park's hand. Is he gonna cycle the sensor in response? Probably not a very good idea because you would only lose the, the card you draw right away. Narset the fairy cast out. The problem with something like Noxious Grasp answering a card like Teferi is that he is gonna get at least one activation I w would imagine that's gonna be minus three draw a card uh, he's gonna get rid of the Narset so he his hand not that good anymore but does still have cast out he's gonna cycle a sensor now that Vincent knows about it pretty good choice right there seems like he drew the The little Teferi, is he gonna plus it or m minus three on the oven? Yeah, he's gonna minus three it on the oven. Uh, get rid of it for at least one turn. It does mean he's stepped out, so let's see if uh, Vincent can take advantage of that. Uh, he, I do see a Grim Harrispex and a Mayhem Devil and also a Abrupt Decay. So quite a lot of choices. He's gonna go for Abrupt Decay, which I'm kind of surprised. I don't think I would have done that. I would have used the opportunity to resolve, for example, the Devil or the Grim Hutter Specs. Because the Teferi was at one. Uh, it would probably have died to some sort of triggers from Mayhem Devil. He does find the Trail of Crumbs, but he, he's still missing the cat. The missing piece to complete the fairy tale. Trail of Crumbs now, is it gonna see an Absorb uh, from Hidu Park? Yeah, it is gonna see an Absorb from Hidu Park, countering the Trail of Crumbs. And another small Teferi once again bouncing the oven and drawing cart in the process. Vincent draws. I'm not really sure why Vincent is so keen on getting rid of small Teferi. Uh, I don't really see uh, see it being that big of a problem against his deck. Of course it draws a card once every four turns but it's not that that big of a problem. I think there's more important things for example the big Teferi. Oh, number three. That's what happens. Teferi. Tree Fairy. And now. Still no absorb, but he does have the disallow uh, to counter the problematic cards. Uh, gonna give a, a goose. Mayhem Devil, that one's gonna be countered. Gilded Goose, of course, one of the most recent cards. Uh, seeing a lot of play in Standard, and now Lyra. That's actually coming from the Cyber. Good Cyber choice there from Hidu Park. Realizing that the Jun deck doesn't have all that much answers to that. There is the Grim, uh, there is the Murder Strider, and the Noxious Grass, but he did see his opponent already use one of the, the Noxious Grasps. So, even two... No, the Abrupt Decay. The first one was Abrupt Decay. The Totsies, yeah. Uh, minus, plus one. It does mean this game is gonna speed up uh, quite nicely. 
It's gonna put Vincent at something like 16 or 17. Has he gained any life just yet? I don't think he has, so maybe even lower than 15 because of the shock lands. <laughs> so Gilded Goose is gonna make a mana, and with that mana, he's gonna activate the Trail of Crumbs. Let's see if he answers with a cast out. Problem is, if he goes for cast out, he might actually lose his li uh, little Teferi to an attack from the from the Grim Harrispex. He he will be able to keep up absorb mana. Yeah. So he but he is gonna get rid of the Trail of Cups, which means his Teferi might be exposed. Cinder Vines as a way to answer the cast out. I like that. Uh, maybe would have been better for he to wait for his opponent to yeah I think if he would have waited for the ability to resolve to the top two cards he would have noticed that his opponent had the cinder vines and I think in at that point he would have maybe removed the grim Harrowspex. but of course he does have the absorb for the cinder vines so it doesn't end up mattering uh, now grim is gonna get rid of little teferi and the cat meow 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 there we go Actually quite nice with the uh, Grim Harrispex, that's quite a lot of cards, but let's see if he, f he needs to find an answer to, to Lyra uh, in like three or four turns. He is gonna gain some life with the cat. So what's the fairy tale, uh, Niels, behind the Cauldron Familiar? There's a, another one, uh, the Black Cauldron, where there's... I, it's an old Disney tale as well, and I don't know the details. Ah, if anyone, in, if anyone in chat can bring us some little details about the Cauldron Familiar. Every day the cat returns to kill the same mouse, which sinks again into the Cauldron's brew. Something like that. Yeah. I should I should have studied more yeah, fairy tales yeah. clearly to do coverage. Yeah, yeah. And the Gilded Goose? Uh, Gilded Goose is actually a uh, fairy tale about uh, envy, uh, where people are stealing the eggs, and then at some point somebody gets so envious he kills the goose because he wants to take out the eggs, which of course there's none in there, and then nobody has a uh, golden eggs anymore. Hmm. Always a lesson. Did he just untap? Oh, look at that. Blessed Alliance untapping his Lyra and actually ambushing the Grim Harrispex. Wow. Let's see if Vincent can find an answer for the Lyra. Nice little use there from Hidu Park. Showing he knows his deck in and out. Knows even the, the little details like no one ever uses that ability in the deck. Like it, The deck has only one creature, but this time around... No, no, he depart. He knows it all. He's v he's been very good in modern, and yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see him uh, bring his A game in pioneer as well. Vincent did find the the Vraska, but the Vraska cannot handle the Lyra. Sacrifice a permanent. He draws a card. There we have Golgari Queen. I I like I like Vraska. I think it's just good enough, not too good. Uh, I think it's one of the better designed planeswalkers. It sees some play, it doesn't see all that much play, but yeah, I like it. The goose, ooh, it says flying of course. There we go. Put the goose in the oven. Maybe some people will be doing that on Christmas Eve. Uh, but, <laughs> but Vincent is, is doing it here in round number seven of Belgian Nationals. Another land. He's still missing the Trail of Crumbs, which would have kind of given him the, the card advantage he needs. But right now, uh, Hido Park doesn't have the Planeswalkers yet, and Vincent has one. 
That's the big problem with Trail of Crumbs is it only looks for permanents and very often if you need an answer, a quick answer, they're not in permanent form in magic. Yep. So there's there's you, you can't dig for the noxious grasp for, yep. uh, with them for example. It's one of the reasons I guess why people are playing Murderous Rider, which is like an answer which is kind of the sorcery creature uh, you need it, especially in standard a lot of people were actually playing four of them. There we have it, the zombie knight 2-3, it, uh, when it goes on an adventure, it destroys a target creature or planeswalker and it comes back as a 2-3. And we have Alexandre Dara looking at our screen with a little smile on his face as he once again top eights another nationals, Belgian nationals. I still remember losing to him in the semi-finals a couple of years ago, still hurts. but. It's the way life goes. You gotta go on. Can't win them all. In the meantime, Teferi and Lyra are pairing up. I think Cauldron Familiar Oven is a little bit too cute for Pioneer. It doesn't seem powerful enough. I have the, the same feeling. Like he, he's been doing it all game long, but he's just not getting anywhere. Li there's just better cards. I don't know. There's Lyra. There's pl very powerful planeswalkers. Uh, it, it's grindy, but in standard, it's gr it's good enough. But I don't think it's good enough for Pioneer. But I might be wrong. I mean, maybe. I have the same uh, problem with it. Like, if you can take away the support cast, like the Mayhem Devil, the Trail of Crumbs, the combo itself has so little impact. Yep. Sure, it's a free chump blocker every turn, but if your opponent's not fighting on the ground, there's... Yep. ...much you can do anymore. Ooh, Corval, that's a good one. The Fey Cursed King. It, it looks so nice, this card. Look at that. It's like... It's it's like uh, from Game of Thrones, a dragon on the throne. I wouldn't... That's actually the story. Yeah? Of a uh, very greedy king that got cursed to be uh, a dragon that then uh, spontaneously ate his entire uh, entourage. Ooh. Uh, half of the story is the flavor type. I, I wouldn't want to to face that dragon I mean transformed at his own wedding he promptly ate the banquet the gifts and the guests holy holy guacamole uh, something I wouldn't do at, at my wedding so let's see what's better an angel or a dragon? I guess the answer is the fairy. <laughs> yeah. But well, he's gonna sacrifice the colder, uh, the colder familiar. Just gonna draw a card. So he's gonna draw quite a lot of cards and gain some life in the meantime. So this game's certainly not over. And uh, Hido Park has not find found his Sphinx's revelation yet, uh, which would would be a good good way of. Uh, pulling ahead also has two dictor time which he's certainly looking for right now the longer the game goes the better these cards are is he empty handed or he's got like one card i think maybe uh, two cards two cards As he has a azorius charm yeah he's looking at this is a uh, quite powerful combo there uh, whereas uh, the colder familiar and the oven on him on themselves don't do all that much but if you add uh, this little fake cursed king. I'm surprised the king is not eating the cat. I mean, if it's eating everything, it surely must be liking a cat. Uh, the cat hides in the oven. You yeah. Know, yeah, but no. But uh, I mean, if you're a, if you're a hungry dragon, you just check the oven, right? Two from the top. Fresca is gonna g go away. But uh, Vincent did draw a bunch of cards. Look at that, Tots. Uh, there's not that much business, though. Uh, he does around the Mayhem Devil. Yeah, so I think this game might end up... This uh, match might end up going to game number three. Uh, Vincent is going to fire off a... I'm surprised to... I would have fired off the Azorius Charm here. 
well maybe not just in the hopes of finding a sphinx's revelation but if you you're looking for sphinx's revelation might actually be better to wait the turn so you have the two extra mana now mayhem devil but still no answer for lyra ah he's actually gonna use his land to shuffle away the faker king. that's a, a very nice play there from uh well at least that's what uh, that's what i thought he was gonna do But first he's gonna use his uh, Geyer, Geyer, yeah, something like that. Uh, probably not Geyer, Geyer. I've been saying Geyer Reach. Geyer? But no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it made me realize yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's probably Geyer. But the chat didn't help, so no? probably there's no problem. No one's they're all Belgian, I also no don't no know how to pronounce it. No one's listening. Oh, I forgot to unmute you. No, it's okay. I haven't been saying all that much useful things anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna use it, so the king is gonna be shuffled away. Nice play from Gidu Park. Which, what's the land? Encroaching Waste? No, no, it's the other one, right? Yeah. It, we should probably know the, the name, but I've been away for too long. It's a Field of Rune. All the permanents uh, from Vincent are actually. Uh, playable in your Th I play this deck yeah. every card in play <laughs> is in my deck uh, oh look at that D exactly what he needed Sphinx is a revelation for <laughs> keeping up one mana one two three four five six yeah sweet and oh he finds a pitting needle on the pitting needle on the oven exactly why he kept up the one mana once again, very well played by Hidu Park. Meow. Meow. What if you put two cats in one oven? Would they start fighting? Probably. Yeah, or start well, at licking. At least my cats would yeah? start fighting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do they fight a lot? Yes. Uh, well, one fights the other. And the other likes it? Or? No, not really. No. She just doesn't fight back anymore. No? Doesn't run away, just well, she runs away, yeah, yeah, okay, and then runs to me or my girlfriend, and yeah, oh. like, it's like, Mom, oh, that's nice. Wait. And then you just throw them, they will fight you, you lazy cat. Come on, <laughs> what's up? Fight for <laughs> you your gotta, right to you, feed. You gotta, you gotta grow up, just fight your sister. Well, what's up? Eight years old, <laughs> there's not much much growing up to do eight anymore. times seven, that's what they say, right? So 56 years old, yeah, yeah it's qu quite old. Attack for five. It's definitely Geyer. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you, Gentle Muffin. I'd l I'd be like that joke with two pizzas in a note. I don't know the joke. With you two don't know the joke? No, with the two please so tell two me. Two pizzas in the oven. This is one to the other. Jesus Christ, it's hot in here. And the other one goes, ah, a talking pizza. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dictra time. Uh, it seems like we might actually end up. He might actually end up winning. Yeah, well, we have no clue about the life. <laughs> yeah, but he, he's probably at 59 from all of the Lyra attacks. Yeah. The life totals. We we don't know the Dark Genesis, but uh, Hidu Park has been gaining a lot of lives, and so has Vincent Franken, and they're, they. They told us before the match that they're too lazy to handle all the, the life total swings, so they just stay at 20. Oh, we do have an answer to the Piting Needle. Abrupt Decay, you cannot counter that one. So, nice. Uh, Vincent Franken might be back in the game. Abrupt Decay, of course, one of the best cards uh, printed in recent years, uh, especially for a format like Legacy. already like five years old it's return to rough it's still pretty recent <laughs> I mean <laughs> I don't even know to be honest which sets are this is it like the the the, the last card legal for uh, the the yes. oldest card legal no, the youngest printing yeah. is relevant and master sets don't count yeah yeah that's what I but is 
Return to Ravnica, like the set before Return to Ravnica, is it still legal in Pioneer? No. no. So it's like the the oldest card legal. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. So, but it's still pretty young compared to Alpha. Where did all the permanents go? Look at that. Detention Sphere takes the two ovens. Uh, Supreme Verdict gets rid of all the creatures. And Narset. Yeah, the Sphinx Revelation into Dictator Time, just too powerful for a deck like Junt Food. And now another Lyra. Yeah, we saw him get a pretty impressive turn with the Core Vault uh, sack chain. Yeah. But that's just a. Uh, the problem is you're drawing cats. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Guido Park is drawing Lyras and Planeswalkers. Mame Devil gets absorbed. Yeah. Seal away, still in hand. The Nars is still at two. Uh, absorb. One of the better counters in Pioneer. And now another Python Needle. No, he's gonna actually bottom that. Uh, the Needle doesn't do all that much. And a Dictator Time. Yeah, I think he's feeling very confident right now. Uh, you could see it as he jumped up in his chair. It's like when you play poker and you get aces. You always sit up straight. Uh, it's a little tell. So I have to give it to Vincent though. I mean, we've been looking at this game feeling like, oh no, now it's over. Oh no, 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 but now it's over. Yeah. Oh no, now yeah, he yeah. can't do anything anymore. No, it's anymore. over. But he, he's still playing it out. Yeah. Now Siloway gets rid of the colder familiar. There was no oven to hide in. And Guido Park is playing fast and quick, knowing that he's got this. Yeah, there we go, the handshake. Guido Park once again winning 6-1 and one with blue-white control. He's going to be our number one player into the top eight. Uh, so very uh, well done by him. I, I imagine we're going to put up some nice little video once again while we wait for the top eight. I don't think... I don't know how long it's gonna take for us uh, to come back, uh, but uh, if if we will be back, it will be with our top eight, and it's gonna have quite some uh, good players: Thomas van der Paalt, uh, Tiffin Samen, Sharon Bastoin, Jelle Hesling, Alexander Der GP winner, uh, Hidu Park, Branko Nering, Belgian national champion, and also uh, Pro Tour top eight player. Uh, and then the eighth player is still up in the air. We actually had in 11th place the, the organizer of the tournament, Chris van der Wauer. He has certainly outdone himself this tournament uh, with four, maybe even five tur uh, wins. He was actually standing behind me. But let's go to the, to the little video from Channel Fireball and we will be back in about 20.